Hi Scorpio, it's Maria from the Tarot Shop here and this is your monthly reading for August. I'm afraid I'm a couple of days late. Um, I will take one oracle card for the month ahead to get a flavour for what's coming and read some tarot cards for you as well. So let's pop that to one side. Please remember this is a generic reading so if it doesn't resonate with you and you think I'm completely insane and my cards are so off the target then actually also you could look at your rising and or your moon signs it's important it resonates if it doesn't then don't try and make it fit okay so this is a reading for scorpio for the month august i'm talking to my cards just in case you wonder who i'm talking to and spirit guides and anybody else who would like to give you a message for relating to the cards um, self-compassion so you're giving yourself a little bit of a rough time about something here so they're saying right okay we need some self-compassion on this subject whatever it may be let's pick six tarot cards for scorpio for the month of august Scorpio. What do you need to know for the month of August? You definitely need the self-compassion card because something's upsetting you at the beginning of the month. Okay. Right, this is a really big month for you, Scorpio. Something's moving you forward. Um It's a transitional month. It ends beautifully. It's a little bit mixy in the middle. Right, okay. So without further ado, you begin the month upset by something. Something upsets you. It's a sword, so it's to do with your belief systems. It's to do with the fact that actually you've had to let go of something you believed was good for you. You've had to let go of something from the past that you believe you're entitled to, as in you'd earned it. It begins the month by that. So something's happened either probably in July that you are in that moment of like, oh, you're upset that you've had to let something go. Um, I always think of that that um, that children's movie, you know, when that singer sings, let it go, let it go, that sort of thing. It's that sort of energy, releasing something from the past. That it in order to, enables you to move forward at a great speed. Eight of staffs is the eight of wands. It's like everything just happens all at once. It's insane. You literally are moving forward at a rate of knots. The thing with the eight of staffs is you're so busy. You're writing letters, emails. There's loads of activity here. Not writing letters. I mean, I don't think anybody writes letters these days, do they? But you're sending lots of emails, lots of telephone calls lots of messages, there's lots of communication with somebody. It feels as if we've got a new relationship here in some way or shape, form, okay? And there's a lot of activity that leads you into this situation. It's a new beginning. I mean, it's beautiful. It's a new way of feeling, so you feel differently about something. So you're upset, but then you're really busy and you feel differently. But you're still confused. You're still a bit upset about that. Like, I don't see cup seven. You can see she's like, I don't know. It's not a bad card. It's just confusing. Because there's almost so much on offer that you really don't know which drink to have or which cup to take. You see? Which one should I choose? She's like, well, I don't know that one. And it's almost too much for you. There's so much on offer that it feels as if it's too much. And I love this part of your reading because... That's tough to begin the month feeling like that. It is really is. Or thinking, it's thoughts. It's all in your head. As in, I'm not belittling it. I'm saying it's sores as in thoughts that's in your mind. And it's keeping you trapped and in the past. And actually, you just go, no. And you just move forward at a rate of lots and lots and lots of communication. You feel differently, but there's almost too much on choice. This is the sort of reading that if you've separated from somebody... You start making lots of, there's like loads of dates and loads of communication with all these guys. And you're like, actually, I don't know what, I feel differently about myself now, but actually, I don't know what I want. 
there's too much to choose from really and it transitions you into this end of your month this is all um I want to say that you need to be kind to yourself don't worry about you know try try not to to worry too much about whether you may even be you don't want to commit yourself <laughs> and if it's to do with work then I don't think it is but if it is then you you're just really struggling to make a decision okay and the card saying just be kind to yourself you don't have to make a decision you don't have to decide actually you don't have to do anything right you're really busy feel differently about it all but there's almost you don't know what to do and then you end the month so you've got all this activity and then it comes right okay now you're moving forward into something one door is firmly closing and another is opening with 13 so this is about actually you're just moving forward um you're moving forward and you're moving on you're moving on to reconnecting with the life that you believe that you were entitled to this six of cup is about looking back it's nostalgia it's about looking back to a happier time in your life you can see that she's holding her hands she's like, oh i had all these dreams and i had all these visions for the future and this card comes in and says well guess what i'm going to take you there i'm going to take you back not to a situation i want to be really clear about that but i'm going to take you back to that original dream of what you originally wanted so you're going to be looking back at the past as to who you were and what you wanted back then and that's how this is going so one door's closing and another's opening and it's leading you on to this beautiful time in your life that actually is right for you okay so that is august reading it's quite hectic, wasn't it? But I mean, it's good. It's, you know, it is it is what it is, isn't it? That's what they always say. The cards don't ever lie. So hopefully that situation resonates with you. It ends well. Um, good luck with it. And you don't need my luck. Be kind to yourself. Stop expecting so much from yourself. You don't have to be perfect. And you know what? One of the things I always have to say when you get this sort of reading is, is you are entitled, entitled to be happy. If this is about work, then all is as it should be. And this is about taking you back to actually what you're entitled to, what you really deserve, which is the very best of everything. Okay, so that's your reading for August and thank you very much for your time.